This video is going to show you how to use the external tool function inside of a Canvas assignment. So what I have here is just a Canvas assignment in edit mode. I've got my title and my directions. I can fill all this out, but I want to focus this video on the submission type. We have several different ways students can submit. The most popular is online and then using one of these options. But the external tool option brings in a different program, an outside website, if you will, into Canvas. So many of you are using Flipgrid. Flipgrid is an external tool that you can bring inside to Canvas where you can assign the Flipgrid in Canvas and use the SpeedGrader to grade it. And there are several other tools you can do that with. Newzella, Edpuzzle, um, Khan Academy, Quizlet, there are many others. Sometimes it depends on if you have the pro version versus the free version, but there are many to choose from. So this external tool, I click this and then I find whatever external tool I'm trying to use, Edpuzzle, Flipgrid, here's Khan Academy. I have to link these external tools to my Canvas course before they're gonna show up here. So if you're looking for one specifically uh, that you can't see here, um, contact Linda Horner. I'll sit down with you and, and help you um, tie that tool to your Canvas course. The one that we all have is the Google Docs Cloud Assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up my Google Drive. So let's say I have a template of some kind, a Google Doc as a worksheet, um, uh, Google Slides that I want kids to edit and change or add to. I can come here to my Google Drive and I can pick whatever assignment it is, Google Doc, Google Slides, Google Sheets. I do not believe this external tool works with Google Drawings though. But I'm going to go ahead and say Submit and then I'm going to say Select and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Don't forget your due date is the close of the e-learning window. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say save. On the kids end, they will see whatever you've attached from your drive right here. And what's awesome is, let me get a place where you can see here, is they're gonna fill it out right here because they can write on it right from here. And so it makes it a little bit easier since they don't have to then upload it or anything like that, make a copy of it. They can just simply fill it out, whatever you template you have or, or questions you have for them to fill out. And then when they're done, you don't see it here in the teacher view, but in the student view, it's a blue submit button. They simply fill it out and hit submit. If they don't finish it, that's okay. It's a Google Doc or Google Slides. It's automatically saving as they go. So when they come back later to finish it, they'll be able to pick up right where they left off. They also have the option of finding this exact assignment in their Google Drive if they rather complete it in their Google Drive instead of in the little Canvas box here. But again, when they're done, they simply click this. I know it looks imaginary. They click this Submit button that will be hovering right here to turn it in. Super simple. And the different external tools work differently, but that's how you would do it for a Google Doc, Google Slides, or Google Sheets.